Ah yes, I've named it counterintuitively, but this is it. This is the fabled swimming pool. These are the napalm launcher pickups. I can no longer pick up because I'm at full capacity. Uh, this is the wrong way, and this is the exit. I have missed a few things, but ultimately I have beaten this goddamn level. Even if I have cheated a tiny bit. However, there's one experiment I would like to run, and I probably will leave this in the VOD as well. One thing that interests me is whether or not you can shake the hands off, or whether you are stuck with them, and if a single one gets at you, you're screwed beyond any hope of salvation. Yeah, when that doll crushed me, that was far from far. Okay, so let's perform a simple test. A hand will jump out at me and get me. Okay, hand, do it. Do it, just fucking do it. Okay, I'm jumping and I'm pressing buttons. Seriously, is this just certain death now? Is there nothing you can do? Wow! I distinctly remember being able to shake off the hands and save yourself. But okay. See, it gets you and I would assume there's something you can do. Like jump or fidget, press the use button, do something to save yourself. Really? Nothing? My goodness! This is not just a pointless exercise. This is something that can potentially impact the way I play the rest of the game. Because apparently, as far as I can tell from what I've experienced so far in the second chapter, if a hand gets you, it's game over. You're gonna die. Do you have any any theories as to what I possibly could do to shake them off? Because I do remember shaking them off, am I crazy? Have I changed the difficulty level or something? Is something amiss here? I remember being able to shake them off, barely, but being able to shake them off after panicking, furiously running around and stuff. No, well thanks. I was expecting it, man, but... I I don't want to concede that it's just absolute certain death. Because if I do... And by the way, this is what you'd expect it to be. Here's a hand. A hand gets you. And it's game over from there. Well, maybe, just maybe it's based on hit points. In that case, if there was the hand and only the hand without any additional enemies, you'd still be able to save yourself just barely by withstanding a given amount of punishment. I mean, obviously the best solution to the hand problem is to not get caught in the first place, but that's not necessarily viable in all circumstances. If the hand gets you, the hand gets you. Come on, experiment time. I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm healing, I'm trying, I'm trying, doing fit. No. No. Oh. As far as I can tell so far, if I can't get you, you're dead. 
Maybe I should look up a walkthrough or something, but... Yeah. That might be it. Although I distinctly recall them being able to hurt you even if you're standing up. So that's also a theory worth testing, isn't it? Let's just not crouch. Um, I was standing up that time, thank you very much. It got me. Maybe there's two kinds of hands. I don't think so. <laughs> I've tried, I've really tried. Apparently... What, what? I think something got under the barrel, but still, it's ridiculous. Okay, here's my take on this. In Act 1, it was either a difficulty thing or an act thing. Previously, we were on the difficulty all in Act 1. The hands could have been shaped. No, that doesn't make sense. The hands didn't appear until Act 2. I don't get it. Something has changed. The world has changed dram dramatically, and now hands can no longer be handled. Imagine that. Well, that's just bad news, isn't it? Apparently, at this point, no matter what I do, once I get caught off guard by a single hand on any given level, I'm ruined. It's just over. I have to restart from the very beginning. Because I got caught. That's it. That's bullshit. I can accept certain times of... Actually, that's less bullshit than the doll traps. That's absolute bullshit. This is relative bullshit. This is so, so bullshit. You know what? Here we go. This is episode 2, map 6, The Cold Rush. Uh, not The Cold Rush. The Cold Rush. As in The Gold Rush, but The, but the Cold Rush. I, I see the world play here. I seem to be in a well of sorts. Weird things have happened since I have started episode 2. From the fact that I... Yeah, cultists. Burn. Yes, it burns, doesn't it? It's a nice platform to have. Um. Yeah, you know what? No. Just no. Here's my take on things. You pop out. You get the cultist. <laughs> and then you either lure the gargoyle towards you, or get the second cultist. Come on, gargoyle. I know you'd have to descend to my level, but come on. Is that it? No, it's just a series of icicles. <laughs> it's a 2D sprite overhanging an area. Come on, gargoyles. If I get out there, I will get pelted. I don't want that. So I need you to come here. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Not gonna happen, is it? All right, fine. Bye. 
How did you get? I won't take that seriously. Hold on, my don't. Started nodding before I heard him screaming, but it's fairly certain what's gonna happen. I'm losing over health, which isn't something I can easily restore. But an unfortunate situation. Oh no, they're gonna fall into water. So damn it! <laughs> can they burn under? Yeah, sure, give me the flow gun at the start of this level and then give me puddles to which my enemies can fall into. This level is insidious. Seriously, there are zombies on the other side of this lake. And when I shoot them with the flow gun, they just fall into said lake. And extinguish themselves. Quite unfortunate. They gave me the flow gun just to tease me. Either way... Keeping up with the maze theme, here's the place I came from, there's nothing to explore there as far as I can tell, and here are the paths. I can go down into the water, I can go over here to the left, I can go up ahead, <laughs> uh, and over there, whatever is over there, I can go up here, up the ramp. So that's one, two, three, four exits, once again. Where should we go first? I think under the water is a decent bet. Splash, splash, splash. What? Wait a minute. Is Hello? What? I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, this this seems. I think I'm standing on cracking ice, and this is a an ice hole, which and that's a frozen underwater cultist, which suggests. That maybe, just maybe, if I remain in the water too long, I will freeze myself. Not necessarily a good sign. Oh, there's one way to test that hypothesis. Also kill the cultist. Because goddammit... He didn't just die, he got... He got shattered like a block of ice. Actually, like a glass pane, that's exactly the sound they make. Even in water, I find no rest because I can go left or right. Alright. Let's go uh, left for now. And I find uh, a pocket of zombies. What? Nothing of interest. Oh, there are always flowers. Not always, but sometimes. Picked up body armor. See, my theory was that maybe, just maybe, if you have enough armor, you can resist the hands. Perhaps if you are at full armor, you can shake a hand off. And we'll just lose all the armor, or a lot of armor. That's the best I can come up with. Because we still have these numbers, these mysterious numbers over here. Also, I can still go right. Oh, even if I go into water, though. 
diverging paths. <laughs> All right, why is this important? I got here for a reason, didn't I? No, apparently not. This area... <sighs> this little sheet of ice raised itself to lead me up there. But that that's a dead end, and so is this puddle. So I get... Well, that's actually good news. That means that I can eliminate a few of the paths. <sighs> and proceed down other ones. Oh, great cans. the right round uh, like a record what have we learned <laughs> Problem. 21 ammo and I've picked up one can in the middle of all of this. Ugh. I mean, I've missed it a couple of times, but even with, with that in mind, it's just not cost effective. Ooh, I need the skull key to enter this building. I'm still trying to follow the plot of this game. Uh, the first first uh, mission of this scenario, actually the first mission, of, the first map of this episode, whatever you want to call it, began with me approaching on a boat. And in general we have been treated to the ice theme. In general water and ice have appeared many times over the course of this particular episode. Now these are themes, that's not the plot. What seems to be the idea that the cultists have set up some sort of base on a ship? I wouldn't put it past them to have an underwater base. <laughs> these cultists are crafty buggers. Oh, you can... You get dynamite, which is something I appreciate. And of course, cans of aerosol. I need a key. Wait, maybe aerosol is a British expression or something. Maybe I should just say spray cans. It's like those guys playing Dead of Winter and... Mentioning going to the petrol station. No, man, it's the gas station. Yeesh. Shotgun shell. That's something I can appreciate. Aerosol. Okay. Hmm. If you say spray can, you probably mean spray paint, don't you? Now do you mean body spray, hell spray, etc. Is spray can... If you heard someone mention a certain spray can, what would you expect? Is it is it ambiguous? Or does it... I mean, it is ambiguous, obviously. But does it lean more towards one explanation or another? Or is it entirely ambiguous? Overtly ambiguous? Hmm, I can't get the...
There you go. That's what you get. Wait a minute. Have I said a single top? Uh, have I said go die in a file a single time during this playthrough? I think I'm missing an opportunity here. Usually spray paint. Yeah, I figured as much. Spray can probably suggest spray paint. If someone means deodorant, they are probably not using the term spray can. Because that's not, not the simplest way to put it. Hmm. I can go up there, jump into this river, or I could use this tiny thing to go there. Whoa! Really? Seriously now? Two twin blasts and he's dead. That's impressive. Wait, that, that doesn't seem to make sense. Is the damage random or was I just that horribly, ridiculously bad back in the day? Back in the day. A few weeks ago in hitting them in the face with the shotgun. That was probably bad. Yeah, that was, that was my intuition as well. I'm just... Hey, all we have are our linguistic intuitions most of the time. You probably have not conducted a formal study on how American people use English language to express themselves when referring to different types of spray cans. We can't go there! Or well, can we blow that place up? Logically speaking, this is probably the end of the level, but... Maybe, just maybe, the path can be opened. Perhaps not. Or maybe there's a separate trigger for that. Left, right, up ahead. Um, right, thanks. Are you dead, zombie? Ah! Holy shit! Uh, he bled enough to convince me that he was dead, but apparently he wasn't. I, I'm not sure why it scared me as much as it did. Probably because it was unexpected. I expected him to be dead. <sighs> the logical conclusion of... Disliking jump scares, I think, is to convince oneself that nothing scary can ever be good. At least that's the, that's the conclusion I have drawn so far. Because everything scary will be to a degree unexpected. Okay, I've got this. I need to be extremely careful when using this. This has limited usage. Only 90 more. Actually, I would prefer to keep that off. If at all possible. I don't want to use it up unnecessarily. I kind of regret picking it up now. Ish. Let's explode up there first.
The... There we go. Huh. Get over here. Missed him. Missed him. Got him. Got him at close range and killed him! Yeah, shotgun to the face solves most of life's problems. And those problems that cannot be solved by a shotgun to the face can probably be solved by the napalm launcher. Okay, I have two ways now I can go through here, through this weird corridor. Or I can head down well into the water. What do you suggest? Water or... Up corridor. Essentially up or down. Fine. Since I'm already here, might as well go up. And now I'm now I'm um Post actively justifying the decision. So like, yeah, that seems to make sense. I would have I would have justified the other decision as well. What's the point? Seriously? Okay. That's hilarious. Alright, you run along now. Okay. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Oh, my. Uh. Am I? Uh, well, huh. Now we know what is to come. I'm not looking forward to that part. Oh no, I'm gonna... Well, let me guess, I'll have to come back the same way. Are you absolutely sure this is a good idea to any extent? This is the path up. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, jump boots will help without the jump boots which is how I assume you are meant to make this I can barely see myself getting there but here's the thing even if you use the jump boots you just might hit the ceiling above you and plummet to your untimely demise okay let's do this Which is exactly what happened. Actually, let's try that again. Without even reloading, without doing much. How did that ever happen? Actually, that wasn't my...
Yeah, charging up ahead, not the best of ideas, apparently. Still, I want to, I want to see. Holy! Very precise jumps. That thing. And that's probably why you shouldn't. I'm I'm just screwing around now, but you know. Oh my! I can see the problem here. Secret is revealed. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, it is. Serious. I think the only reasonable way to deal with these things is to pick up another life essence. What the hell? Whoa! This is just ridiculous! Sheesh. Alright, um... What lies ahead of me... Is a lot of precision jumping. And if that wasn't the worst part... The initial jump you have to make, presumably, presumably, even without jump boots, you can make just barely. And if you try to help yourself and use jump boots, there's a decent chance you will hit the ceiling. And if you hit the ceiling, you just fall down and die. But even if you land there properly, you do not end up on a smooth surface, on a flat surface. You end up on a slope. So if you stay still, you're gonna fall. You need to either balance yourself on the slope, which is not necessarily what you want to do, or you need to go ahead and jump to the next thing, almost immediately. Wow. Let's give this, let's give this an honest try. Come on, cultist, I know we want to get closer. Alright, come on, cultist. I know you want to burn. Alright, girl, girl, get down here. A few shots from the shotgun, both barrels. You'll get the gal girl eventually. It's the safest bet. Of course, the zombies have fallen into the water. I'm <laughs> compulsively trying to reload, even though you don't have to do that in this game. 
Wait, how? How is that connected? It wasn't connected previously. Was it? Have I missed something? What? These areas were not connected, were they? Feels like I'm losing my mind. Yeah, I expected as much to happen. Shooting zombies with the shotgun isn't the best, most efficient way of dispatching them. As you can clearly see. But what am I supposed to do underwater? I could try to riddle them with Tommy gun bullets. That's not the that's not all that much better of an idea. There are very few good ideas as to how to kill zombies underwater. You could toss a dynamite over there, but that Requires you to be able to toss it, which requires you to be above water to begin with. But you can deal with underwater zombies that way, as long as you have access to them from the surface. Here's the deal, I can access the water part, and I can deal with the water part, but I don't want to deal with the water part right now. What I have difficulty with you know, what I'll probably be stuck on for a while are the precision jumps. <sighs> Come on. Come on, girl, girl, I don't have patience. I don't, I don't have their patience for this. Actually, I could just sequence break using the jump boots. Got him. Wait, hold on, what happened? Where is the gargoyle? Where'd he go? Bloody typical. Yes, of course. A blue cultist. Oh, goes the fanatic. Of course, I can conceivably get crushed by a descending gate. I need a key. So that's how this lovely game operates. I probably cannot get all the way up there. I will not even try. But what I can do is try and ascend this amazing cliff. Yes, it burns, doesn't it? Does it burn? Yes, it burns, it burns. 
Thanks. That wasn't exactly what I had wanted to accomplish. Get out of here! Get out! No! No! Phew. All right. All right. Okay. I'm fine. What? Why did that happen? What did I do? <laughs> triggered. I've triggered something, but I... But I don't know why. Why have the pillars descended? What, what have I done? a mystery I just wanted to jump all the it's marking with it whoa you can swoop in huh you're a little bastard Down you go. I think I shot him just as he was tossing the dynamite, causing it to explode. Risky maneuver, the cultist. Shouldn't have tried that. See, they cannot get down. I spoke too soon. Apparently they can, but sometimes they glitch out and just stay there. Alright, both of them died. They did not get permanently stuck in an invincible state, which is good news. I hate it when they do get stuck in an invincible state. Here's the jump. If I fail the jump, I die. Horribly. Is it dead? Uh, seems that way. I don't think there's anything up there to the right from this perspective. I think I think I need to go to the left, get the life seed and proceed further. I'm just I'm just afraid I will die horribly. And be filled with regret and sorrow for the rest of time. Whoa! Holy Shit. Life seed. Uh, uh, oh, oh, no! I was there! I got the. I did I, something that pushed me off. Was, uh, having to deal with gargoyles at high altitude while little jumping, not the best of ideas. Yeah, they have combined the platforming sequence with fighting. And at that high of an altitude, I don't feel comfortable dealing with monsters. This can be handled, obviously, but I have failed to do so. Devious. Uh, I probably should be in better shape than I am today. Just burn. Doesn't really matter how much- No, don't kill- Damn zombies. Oh, for- Oh, 
terrible reflexes. And accuracy. In other words, nothing new. This path is open for some reason. I missed it the first. Was it the, the first time? At this point, I have no idea what triggers when. I'm at a loss. Yeah, zombies, zombies. You know what? I think the first thing I should do is visit that area. A terrible, terrible area. Deal with the jumps. And then consider anything else on this level. Because if I don't deal with the jumps... Spend my time exploring. And fall to my death. I'm going to be quite upset with life. All? More of them? There we go. What am I even doing here? This is not the place. This is not the way. Uh, yeah, but I went here because that's where I've previously been to to reach the place. That's not the way you cross the river. Burn, please. Oh, he, yeah, of course, he jumped into the water. Oopsie. Oh well. Dynamite got me. You can just fire a second flow and immediately ignite them to the fullest, but apparently that's not my style. Apparently I prefer to wait it out and save a single flow. I could have moved further away, but it will have required me to jump again, so I figured I might as well stay far enough away from the dynamite not to get hurt. A risky feat. Alright, let's try this. Stop doing that! Just, just get over here. No, just stop! No, no, just... Finally, thank you. Now note that I am doing this on the verge here. Well, not necessarily entirely on the verge, but close to the edge enough to be worried. What my well-being. Oh. Here we go again. Here! Uh, oh, uh. Come on. Um, 
I can deal with gargoyles at this. Got him. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not ex uh, ex um, exhaust my jump. Wow, great. That's that's not helpful. I have, however, wasted all of my shotgun shots. Fortunately, this little nub here is keeping me stabilized on this sheet of ice. This enormous iceberg. And what I need to do is jump all the way over there. Think I can do it? Think I will? See, I don't necessarily care about damage here. Falling down is instant death. Uh, oh, 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 no. No. I mean, maybe, just maybe there's water down there, but... I don't think I'm willing to risk it. Oh! Uh. Just on the off chance of receiving a biscuit. Oh no, 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 no! This is the path up ahead. Oh well, I guess I have the band aid solution. Oh great, hello. You're not a problem at this point at all. I will. I would rather die. To you miserable things then fall to my own death doctor's bag I can replant oh is that the Ugh. might be the skull key might be what I need now here's the situation oh boy oh no. oh 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 uh, uh. What? Seriously, you bastard. I ran out of Tommy gun ammo. Seriously, am I going to have to resort to the voodoo doll? Oh, pff, great. I'm running out of ammo. More than halfway through the medkit. Jumps ahead of me. Tiny precision jumps ahead. Oh, no. And it's a divergent path. Yeah, watch me fail. See, the ways... There are ways, there are two ways. Can either go down there or I can either or I can go up there. Now I think the way down gives me the key I need, but I'm not necessarily sure about that. Either way I'll probably have to backtrack to this point. Get up on the cliffs and uh Okay, what's your take? Do I take the down path to go potentially for the key? Or do I take the high road? Once again, it's down versus up. Most of the time it's left versus right, but nope. This time it's up versus down. I regret picking this game. Yeah, because what's more fun than instant death precision jumping? Maybe the problem is my approach. Maybe I should be making saves. A save before those jumping sections, or... I don't know, allow yourself a few saves within a level and suddenly this becomes a lot easier. You don't have to redo the sections over and over if you fail. I'm going down the down path, I guess. Ah. <sighs> Uh. 
Um, that's that's not the platform I wanted to end up on, but uh, I appreciate the situation anyway. At this point it's easier to go up the up path, but I want to go down. Well, I kind of did. Uh, my stream shows about another seven minutes. I think that's enough for now. There's not much that can... That, there's not much more that I can accomplish today. There's not much more that I can really be expected to show off. I'm sorry. So for anyone watching the VOD, I do apologize. And I do thank you for having the patience. <laughs> 